Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TF TV tafadhali subscribe ili wewe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. It is my hope that the outcome of this forum will usher in a new era of significantly higher trade and investment between our two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to assure you that uh, Zanzibar government is fully committed to creating conducive environment for you to do business and invest in this uh, country. This augurs well with Her Excellency Dr. Samia Suluhu's call when she visited France in 2022. During her visit, the President renewed our commitment to take our relations, including trade and investment, to greater heights. I know that some of you are already in Tanzania, so I'm here to assure you that uh, the ministers here present and others and other senior government officials participating in this meeting are ready to hear your st testimonies and views on the challenges that you are facing in doing business. In so doing, I'm certain we will discuss ways to address those challenges. Um, at this juncture, let me tell you a little bit of our main economic policy in Zanzibar. We call it the Blue Economy Policy, and it is defined as the sustainable utilization of ocean resources for, for our economic uh, development. And in this policy, we have five main sectors. The first one is tourism, and I think this is the biggest um, economic sector in uh, Zanzibar, contributing close to 30% of our GDP. There is a lot of room uh, to invest in this sector because so far, despite being the highest sector in our economy, uh, it is still dependent mostly on beach tourism. We have um, good opportunity here to diversify our tourism into other types of tourism, including heritage tourism, but also sports tourism, conference tourism, and so on. The second sector is fisheries. We have a huge opportunity here to um, do fish processing and um, aquaculture. Um, most of the island nations are very much uh, developed in this sector. Unfortunately, we haven't had enough investment around uh, fisheries, so I want to take this opportunity to welcome investors to come and see um, the opportunity of investing in fisheries and also fish farming. The third area of um, the blue economy policy is oil and gas. I know that this is not very, um, not a sector that um, is very popular at the moment, but I want to report just in case there are those who are still interested in oil and gas that our country has done some exploration and we have um, realized that we have quite a good potential when it comes to natural gas. The fourth sector is uh, seaport development. As an island nation, we want to make Zanzibar a transshipment hub for the region, the East African um, region as well as the South African region. Uh, and we are now looking forward to develop a multi-purpose port at a place called Mangapwani that will cater for container shipment, but also um, oil and gas, fisheries, and other uh, associated um, businesses around the port. The fifth um, sector is maritime trade and transport. Um, there is a lot of trade currently between the coastal areas, and that is Zanzibar, Pemba, Zanzibar Mtwara, Zanzibar Dar es Salaam, Zanzibar Mombasa, as far as Zanzibar Comoros. 
And what is needed here is to do more business between these areas and also uh, to have um, transport, uh, proper transport between these areas. So these are the main sectors of our blue economy policy and we are looking forward to welcoming you, all of you and others who are not here to venture into these areas of our economy. Infrastructure development. And for that reason, we are keen to work with uh, French companies who are interested in doing infrastructure projects in Zanzibar. And these mainly include the three areas of uh, road transport, um, airports, energy, particularly renewable energy, as well as water and sanitation. I've heard in your presentation that you are also looking into agriculture. Um, in Zanzibar, we do not have enough land but we can focus on high value crops. And this is mainly spices. And that's the reason why Zanzibar is also called Spice Island, because we do spices here and they are of high value. And that is the area of agriculture that we are looking to get investment in. We are not just discussing a concept on infrastructure, transport, agriculture, tourism, energy transition and sustainable city, but we are also celebrating a vision that is dear to our hearts, a vision that recognizes the importance of economic relations between our two nations, and doing so laying a concrete foundation for our future generation. The selected discussion is so timely as Zanzibar is emerging as an attractive destination for investors seeking to capitalize on the country's flourishing infrastructure transport, energy transition, and sustainable city initiatives. The island's strategic location in the Indian Ocean, combined with the growing economy and the favorable business environment, makes it an ideal location for investing in infrastructure development projects, such as seaports, airports, road networks, but also in agriculture sector, tourism, and uh, real estate uh, uh, projects for making this B2B relationship very good, very fruitful, and thank you for our friends from Zipa and the Chamber of Commerce from both sides that have signed here in Zanzibar uh, two years ago a partnership. Thank you for making it a wonderful success. And last thing I wanted to mention is after the G2G, the B2B, we have the S2S which is society to society. We, we, we do not talk only to the business and the government. We also reach out to society here in Zanzibar. We train people uh, in the tourism sector. Thank you, Eve, and thank you for, to the business community here in the tourism sector that made this school possible. And there's a school here in Zanzibar training young people to be good managers, to, get, to be good cooks, or also and to be part of the hospitality uh, in your uh, beautiful island. And uh, we are planning more uh, for the future. Uh, studying fresh would be very easy here in the coming months, I hope, thanks to uh, this reach out between the two societies. And also sports. Recently, we have uh, had in France a group of young girls from Zanzibar taking part in a tournament in West France in Brittany, and they did well in football. And that's a proof again that uh, your side society is lively. Ours is welcoming the interaction uh, with your society and your young people. Tif TV na kupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tif TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha comment yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tif TV tupo kijamii.